What are some leadership skills that are essential to have in today's business environment? Yeah, so, I mean, lots been written about this, and I think it's developing, as you say, as people are contributing more. But for sure, you know, technology has played a huge part in, in getting us to where we are now, and it's certainly going to take us uh, forward as well. Uh, but along with that, you know, uh, comes lots of change because technology drives automation and, and you know, um, commoditization, if you like, of work and work patterns and workflows, codifying and systemizing, automating, making things more repetitive and more industrial, which is great. But it also then frees up, you know, humans to to be able to focus on things that are a little bit more value add if they've got the right skill sets to do that, right? So in the project management field, a big chunk of the work that was done previously uh, was around scheduling and planning, et cetera. Well, that kind of stuff can be codified now. And there are many systems out there which allow you to do that very, very quickly. Um, and so what does the project manager do now? And, and we're seeing the development of additional skills that are needed to work in this very sort of uh, volatile world, which is full of shocks and the unknown, and you know, and you need to respond at speed, and you have to be able to sense very quickly. And what we're seeing is, uh, uh, we are seeing it ourselves, is this creation of um, a new way of working, which is taking, taking what you can from technology and expanding that, uh, but then also layering on top of that your own sort of uh, the world calls soft skills, we call them in PMI, the power skills. And these are the skills that you layer on top to uh, to help you become even more effective at what you do. So, you know, collaborative leadership, empathy, you know, understanding of different cultures, you know, an appreciation for the, the outcomes that you're trying to achieve, et cetera, and so on and so forth. And so we're seeing these skills really develop and we're seeing the need for them to develop because organizations need to be super nimble. I mean, it's almost, I, I like to call it agile plus plus. So it's agile, the iterative approach, but take it to the nth level and say, you know, we, we need to be able to respond so quickly to changes that we didn't sense or, or changes or, and events that happen that move so fast that they, that they have a significant impact on us. Like COVID, for example, many organizations didn't respond at pace. They didn't take it seriously. And when they were in a position to do something, it, you know, their, their teams were not enabled. Yes, they had the technology, but they didn't have the power skills to do the transformation. So we see now organizations becoming almost gymnastic in their, in their desire to have this nimbleness, this flexibility, have structure behind them and experience behind them so that they don't go chaotic, but then be able to be super nimble, super fast, super reactive, sensing organizations. So I think that's where the world is going. Uh, is it described in a box that everyone can explain and read? Probably not. Different organizations are doing different things. We are trying to put some um, frame around the gymnastic organization. What are the characteristics? How are organizations standing themselves back up again? What are these extra power skills that are needed to help you transform? Um, and we're trying to put that all together so we can share that with, with uh, the workforce around the world.